who? And why? Oh. I'm... Oh, this, uh... I met a Templar necromancer on Twitter, and he wanted to get me to get it for him. And you said yes. Yeah. I already sent him a sample of the, of the uh, zombie powder. Why? He asked. Did... You... Debbie, okay, there... The... <sighs> It's not really how we're supposed to do things. Well, I mean, like, think about it. Worst case scenario, they, there's a bunch of giant Hulk zombies running loose into Temple Hall. I mean, I think the worst case scenario is Templar figures out how to make giant Hulk zombies that they can control. Oh, like they would actually do that. That's against their religion hmm. or something. Oh, wow, that's... that's unfortunate. <sighs> Neither stone nor rain nor zombies. I don't think that one's in there. Yeah, zombies tend to make a lot of things stop. They do. <sighs> so, I guess the cat's kind of out of the bag. I'm. But look, I, I, you know, I, I talked to you know the people upstairs. Not like all the way upstairs, but you know, just like a few steps up. And, like, uh, you know, the thing is, we've been running, mm -hmm. like, a secret pilot program with you. We're testing mm -hmm. out a new thing of, like, constantly getting our agents, you know, in contact with a handler for, like, immediate feedback and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, image retention rates increasing. You can't shut off there. I did, yeah, it's... I'm not. I'm not up on all the details. I mean, they don't tell me that much. And I mean. Oh yeah, that's why. You, yeah, you. I mean, like you think they would tell the handler everything they need to know, rather than you know, being sometimes hilariously ill-informed. It the the irony is not lost on me. You know what? You haven't convinced me. But I'm going to choose to believe you for now. Okay. That makes this easier. I think probably for both of us. Uh, I just gotta get this. Well, okay, so this is where he lives. I don't know. For some reason, I pictured him just living in the junkyard. Yeah, I, mean, I figured he had like a home made out of trash. Well. Or, you know, a, a trailer like that guy in the Iron Giant. He apparently has a home. And, but the made out of trash part is accurate. It's, I don't think it's made out of. I mean. It's. Certainly decorated with. It has, it has incorporated trash. <sighs> Reminds me of home. Kind of a rough time. No, just when you live in the south, you see houses like this all the time. Well, I thought you lived in New York. Well, I mean, that's right. I grew up in the south. Oh, okay. I... See, I'm in New York, and I'm also hilariously misinformed about some of your background details. Tango, cash, down, boys. I said down. Hush or you'll taste a stick. You know you will. <laughs> Shut your pie holes, boys. We got ourselves visitors. Woohoo! And this one's breathing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now that's more like it. Ooh, they're mean some bitches. Sooner buy a chunk off your bitch. Look at you. Leave my beauty out of this. Just make eye contact. Particularly with cash there. That's the one right there. You don't much care for that. And he's the friendly one. <laughs> hey, Tangle! Leave that arm alone! It's infected! Fucking dumb motherfucker. Um. Jesus Christ on a bicycle. Fucker's got a taste for Frankies! <laughs> oh. Dog's been keeping the yard clean. Goddamn Frankensteins get spooked by him. Those who don't get spooked, they get torn into tiny little pieces. Even I get sick of watching them go at it. And I've seen some sick shit in my life. I bet. Accurate. But the boys... They can't get to all of them. 
Frankies and Smurfs keep popping up like uh, like bunny rabbits at Easter. Boom, boom, you know what I mean? You misinterpreted that holiday. You a dog person? Cats are good for nothing, except it's yowling dish rags. Mm -hmm. You been a hero and all? I'm guessing well. it don't matter much. You ain't got a choice. You're here to fight Frankies and those mutant Smurfs, right? I even got some toys you can play with. Toys that go boom and splat. Don't ask me where I get them. Because I won't tell you anything. I'm your personal face. Look at that serious face on you. So now, <laughs> maybe my boys can take a breather while I get some work done on the short bus from hell right here. We got ourselves a deal, hero. Mind you, keep the noise down. Tango and Cash are the sensitive ties, you know? But I reckon they'll be happy to pick through the pieces after. <laughs> Don't shake his hand, he'll give you tetanus. Acquired. Don't you have to do that stuff? I think he wants you to like keep the Frankensteins from getting in. The zombies? No, they're Frankensteins. And uh, he's Cajun for some reason. Look, I I can't explain that. Maybe he's like main Cajun. Like, well, they did come from Canada originally, so. Yeah, there you go. He just, he just, you know, stopped here. Didn't make it all the way down. Uh, what, maybe the filth or whatever has gotten into his brain. Maybe it's like. They say there's like a parasitic worm that like you step on. Temporary abilities it, acquired. It crawls up your leg and into your brain. And uh, one of the side effects is a southern accent. <laughs> I believe it. Yep. That's one of the few bits of weird science that we let get out. It's... You know, it's just weird enough that nobody really thinks about it too clearly. Oh my god, they got, they got mutant smurfs here too. Don't you start. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm doing it ironically. That doesn't make it better. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Where did you get, like, he just made, like, a bunch of lightning grenades? Apparently, yeah. Let's see. Pulse grenade. How did he manage to cobble together this? I... I'm... I don't know. The world is gone insane. It's like only the crazy people survive here. There may be a correlation there. Seriously, how do you make a pulse grenade? Why are we whispering? I don't know, just, I was talking to myself, thinking to myself, trying to think to myself quietly. Oh, sorry. Great, you can even hear me when I'm thought whispering. Good. Sorry, sometimes I can't quite tell. Temporary abilities acquired. I mean, Edgar did talk about, you know, having to clean up that old motel. Pretty certain he picks something, but can can filth like make you smarter before it great drives you crazy? I mean, it's messing with your brain in all kinds of unexpected ways. Who can tell what it's gonna do? Could it teach you quantum physics? Look, I I don't know. Let's ask. Let's ask Harry Brewer about quantum physics. When you get I back think so. he has to say about that. I think so. Yeah. Let's let's try to make uh, some sense out of this. We'll, we'll plumb the deep mysteries of Scrapyard Edgar. 
Don't put it like that. Temporary abilities acquired. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. Oh, we got a straggler. So, is there any reason you're not just using your gun or your hammer or... Uh, I got my hands full with all these, with all of his stuff. But gotta say, it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty effective. Where are you keeping all these barrels? You know, I'm not thinking about that. There's the whole centipedes dilemma thing. Oh shit! You got an incoming Zoidberg. Don't you start! No, oh, I'm gonna! Yeah! I hope you're taking notes on perimeter defense. Optimal distribution patterns, damage type ratios, horde management, etc. This will be on the test. We may need to apply these tactics in the future to areas that are slightly more high profile. This isn't to say that the scrapyard is worthless. It may provide an efficient source of materials, and that buses all this left of communal transport. Good thing we've got a Gartha. Oh, is that Tango or Cash? I don't know. I think it's just, it's just follow me home. Can I keep it? Uh, fine, but you know you have to, you know you have to feed it and walk it, and you know make sure it doesn't eat anything. You know, infectious, turned into a mutant filth creature. Let's see what's up with that. Yeah, oh wait, yeah, we're gonna ask him. Let's see what happens when we ask him about quantum mechanics. This should be good. Christ, do I look like a college professor? <laughs> I ain't got no fancy words. All my genius is in my hands. Frankly, they got neither the time nor patience to be explaining shit to you. Just don't give up, do you? Look. Quantum motors is just motors, except you don't see the motor. You follow it? You gotta shut your eyes and focus on the sub and tonics and things. Sub and tonics? What? They go in one end, and then gazillions of tiny little gears start grinding up against each other, and then poof, you get these bitty titties shooting out the other end. Um... That's not inaccurate. <laughs> Almost makes sense, and that's the worst part. She's a real beauty, ain't she? <laughs> All dressed up with nowhere to go, and she's getting restless. Hush now, baby girl. Hush now. Mm. We'll get you sorted, I promise. He's literally talking to him. I know the look of someone who got no understanding of motors. Shit. <laughs> that's all right. I ain't much good with people, but I'm a genius when it comes to automobiles. This fine lady, she's the only ticket off the island. Wait, did you think you could just walk everyone out of here? Across the bridge, through the fog, back to Sillivise Station? <laughs> you think you're some kind of hero, don't you? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's pure comedy gold. <laughs> You know more funny. A hero than old Edgar. <laughs> you just got fancy moves and city smarts. Smarts don't count for much under present circumstances. Uh, now, I was getting close to finishing her up, putting the last few pieces in place, when those last few pieces just up and walked out on me. What? <laughs> Complete my eyes. I seen some crazy things out here at night. Things with wings and tentacles and a thousand screaming mouths. But I ain't never, and I said never seen scrap metal. Just get up and stop walking. That's fucked up. You heard me fucked up. So it seems I can't get no further personal with space the little Edgar. lady here. Not as long as that transformator keeps me. What do you know personal myself. space around here? I'm stuck out here <sighs> till the cows come home. And you've seen those cows with your own two eyes, haven't you? I have. Those cows they ain't never coming home. They're cows now. This is canon. 
god. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. What is up? Okay, so... Yeah, um... He's got that filth in his brain. He must. But, like... Why... How come he hasn't gone all zombie? Or, like, have ten tentacles sprouting out of his head? Nope. I mean... Maybe he's a carrier. I don't know. I mean, that's a good question, you know? So he, okay. he hasn't been making these. They've just been sprouting up. I guess not. Is that a stop sign they use as, like, their big red angry eye? Basically. That's... that's good design work. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh, my God! He brought friends! <laughs> the Geppetto, I like that. Okay. Okay, gotta beat it down again. You didn't want to be a tank guard. Gus Mark Pluck. You just reached into it and grabbed that. Yeah. Does it actually, like, use spark plugs or are they just kind of there? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, woo. Okay, at least just territorial. Well, this one is, is at least not... This one's not even attacking me. That's good. Huh. Wasn't even hostile to me. Call it a win. This one, though. Ooh. Zombies are kind of, kind of a crap sheet. Zombies? Oh shit! I'm in goal on the spot. Mine is a million miles away. You know we got the Christmas party down here. I'm all good. You, you, you don't want to hear about that. No, I really do not. Oh gosh! This is a big one. You know what? If if Scrapyard Edgar is ultimately responsible for Skynet, I am just going to... I'm just done. I'm just done with this universe. There just ain't no way. I got it! Yeah! Whew. We'll still run, but for a different purpose. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that you're Earth's greatest warrior. Uh, I did just punch out Cthulhu. Yeah, you did. You didn't even break your arm. Oh, okay. Uh, these things are starting to wiggle. Shut up. I was tempted, but I decided I'd rather not be have anything to do with either of those songs. Okay. Alright. That does better use those quick, Edgar. They're lively ones. Here's some need to know about Galemetry. It's magical puppet work. Instead of strings, the puppeteer makes use of focused thaumaturgical currents to bring an inanimate being to life. Edgar doesn't strike me as a closet thaumaturge, and there's no one else within a control radius. 
We've already seen ample evidence of reanimation, but it looks like we need to add spontaneous animation to the list of things going wrong. If complex thaumaturgical processes are happening all on their own, it means there's more shit in the wind than we initially forecast. Ciao, ciao. Great. That's that's just wonderful. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's good to know they still die when you shoot them a lot. This is true. Zombie waster. I like the the backwards E. That's that that adds some real flair to it. Look at it, look at this. It's pretty armor. He's armored it up. You think he's gonna like try to make a run for it or something? I I would not put it past him. Let's ask him. Wait, um, can we go run this... to the back for a sec? Yeah. Okay, I couldn't tell if that actually had the door in the back or not. What a weird design. It does have the door, but he's sort of like yeah. postured over it. That's good thinking. But then again, you know, if, you, if you're, you know, how will the kids get out? I think the idea is that they're not supposed to get out. <laughs> Wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Couldn't tell you much about the day that goddamn fog rolled in. I remember seeing it out in the bay, thick and dark, like pea soup. I went outside for a look, so you know, and then everything went black. I woke up the next morning back in my trailer, splitting headache, like shop things were crawling around inside my brain. Dango um... barking like crazy, and Cash standing at the door like something spooked him good out there. Something big and stinky. The fog took the whole town, or most of it. Replaced him with Smurfs and Frankensteins. Now I call them Frankensteins, Frankensteins, Frankensteins on account of the movie, see? <laughs> Dead men walking, get yeah. it? And the Smurfs, yeah. big blue bastards with spikes and claws, and those walking brains running the whole fucking freak show. Jeez, not that it made much of a difference around here. The town was filled with vermin and whores and devil worshippers long before that fog rolled in. Sure, you got your survivors back at the sheriff's office, that Bannerman lady, Andy, and that big guy, the outsider with the bike, wh what's his name? Elk? Deer? Gives a shit. Then there's Hawthorne, the pastor. That's not a man you should trust, let me tell you that. He's got tell skeletons me. in his yeah. wardrobe. I'm telling no you, kidding. I'm telling you the That's truth. That's not how that and goes. And that fortune teller, if she's still alive, the harlot. Hey, she's a very lady. nice lady. Slept Whoa. Slept with the town, though. Through the shrink. Whoa, dude. Sheriff's husband, Bannerman, here. As for Norma. She's all right, but uh, I feel a whole lot safer out here alone with my hounds. Okay, it's Edgar is not as cool as I thought he was. I've seen things. I'm very bad vibes. Slimy from things. Things with a hundred sharp teeth, a thousand black eyes, and terrible thoughts. Okay, this is sounding very familiar. This sounds like something that he said about fucker. the film. Makes your nose bleed. It gives you terrible nightmares. Okay. Stay there. Never ever leave you. 